the islands. There are two groups of islands away from the coast of India. They are Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep. These two islands are union territories of India. Andaman and Nicobar Andaman and Nicobar Islands are a group of about 300 islands in the Bay of Bengal. Port Blair is the capital of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The northern part is called the Andaman Island and the southern part is called the Nicobar Island. Indira Point in the Nicobar Island is the southernmost point of Indian Union. Most part of these islands are covered with forests. About 36 islands are inhabited by people of different tribes. Lakshadweep The smallest union territory of India is the Lakshadweep Islands. It is a group of 36 islands, out of which only 10 islands are inhabited. Kavarati is the capital of Lakshadweep Islands. Banana, papaya, guava, drumstick, jackfruit, wild almond and coconut grow in abundance. Malayalam is the main language spoken by the people. Fishing and koi production are the main occupations of the people here. Soil, a natural resource. Soil is the chief natural and important resource for agriculture. It is formed by breaking up of rocks. It is carried to different places by rivers and winds. The nature and types of soils vary from place to place. Types of soil. There are mainly six types of soil found in India. Alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is found mainly in the northern plains. It is found in the coastal plains. It is made up of alluvium brought by rivers. Alluvial soil is very fertile. It gives rich crops of paddy, wheat, sugarcane, jute and oil seeds. Desert soil or sandy soil. Desert soil is found in the desert areas. It is also called sandy soil. Water easily seeps through it. This soil is not fertile. It becomes fertile if it gets water and manure. This soil is suitable for crops like millets, gram, pulses, peanuts and linseed. Cotton and dates are also grown in this soil. It is found in Rajasthan and some parts of Gujarat. Red soil Red soil is found in most parts of the southern plateau. It is formed by the breaking of rocks like granite. It is red in color. Red soil is good for growing millets like jowar, bajra and groundnuts. Laterite soil Laterite soil is formed from a variety of rocks that are leached in hot, wet climate. It is good for growing tea and coffee. It is found in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and northeastern states. Mountain soil. Mountain soil is rocky in nature. It is found in the Himalayan region. It is suitable for tea. Black soil. Black soil is found in the northwestern parts of the southern plateau. It is made from the decomposition of volcanic lava deposits. Black soil is sticky, which can hold water. It is good for growing cotton and sugarcane. Soil erosion. Sometimes rain, rivers and winds carry away the top layer of soil. This is called soil erosion. Causes of soil erosion. The followings are some reasons of soil erosion. Strong winds blow away the top soil of a dry place or a dry area with little vegetation to a great distance. The top soil of hilly areas flows away with the rainwater. Cutting down of trees causes soil erosion. Overgrazing on the farmlands causes soil erosion. Soil conservation. Soil formation takes hundreds of thousands of years, but it takes much less time to wear away. So, we must protect it from soil erosion. We should follow these steps. More plants should be grown to hold the soil together. Cutting down of trees should be checked. Fields should be cultivated regularly using crop rotation. Step farming should be used in hilly areas. Hedges should be grown around the farmlands to protect the top soil from being blown away by strong winds. Agriculture Agriculture is the main source of livelihood of the people of India. Our farmers grow many types of crops. These are wheat, paddy, millet, maize, cotton, jute, sugarcane, 
tea, coffee, spices, etc.